Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architect How To. My name is Andy and in this session we'll see how we create an HFM application using classic administration. Now before you can create the application, you need to create what's called the application profile. Now the application profile is simply a template for the application settings. It is a flat file with a .per extension and currently can only be created in the HFM native client. As part of this, you'll be defining the languages to be used in the application as well as the calendar for the application and the frequencies it uses. For the first step, you specify the alias languages. Now the, lab the names are labels only and can be pretty much anything and there's no dictionary support built into the application. The use of languages lets you group your description for dimension members by a particular language and this helps for localization support. In the second step you define your calendar. You could either use a standard calendar which could have quarters, months and you can specify a start month or you could create a custom calendar where you could specify the number of base periods to be used as well as a prefix for the names of these base periods. You then specify the start year for your application and the number of years to, that your application is going to span. In the next step you added the frequencies. Now if you had created, used a standard calendar, the names for these frequencies get pre-filled and all you, can, all you need to do is update the descriptions for each of these periods for each of the languages that are created previously. And if you choose a custom calendar, you have the opportunity here to add your own frequencies. Now, the thing to note is that the number of frequencies here has to match the number of levels in your calendar. In the next and final step, you customize your calendar where you can specify the the labels for each of your periods. I mean, you can edit the labels for each of your periods as well as give them a description for each of the languages described. Other than that, you can also move your periods around. So, for example, if you decide that a quarter one should have four months rather than three, you can do it here. After you create the application profile, let's see how we create the application itself. You can either do this in workspace or in the HFM native client. Over here, we're going to do it in workspace. First, you select the server or the cluster which you're going to register the application to. Then you specify an application name. Now, this cannot start with HSX, HSV, or HFM because these are reserved words. And the application name can be a maximum of 10 characters and cannot start with a number. Next, you specify the description, which can be a maximum of 255 characters. Then you specify the profile file that you just created and you specify the application project folder in shared services that this application is going to be registered in. That's it. You click on the create button and your application is created. Thank you for joining us and please visit the Performance Architects How-To channel for other videos and enterprise performance management and business intelligence.